Good day, everybody. Welcome back to the Pierre Hidari Classic Mercedes Benz Specialist channel. And uh, before I launch into this wonderful video about the 140 versus the 126, I'm going to tell you that if you're not subscribing to our channel, you're actually missing a lot of really good, fun information. In fact, uh, I would like to think that my friend Thomas and I put the most fun, exciting Mercedes-Benz commentary on YouTube. So if you love Mercedes, there's no reason not to subscribe. Anyway, um, we got a question from this guy named Eric today who has a 99 S320 short wheelbase. And Eric has put a lot of money into this car. And he asked us if there were any older Mercedes that were more reliable and were better cars. So instead of sitting here and like going on and on and on about why I think the 126 is such an amazing car, I brought in an expert who owns two 1985 300 SDs with over 300,000 miles each. Give it up for um, the amazing and dedicated Kevin Tesler. <laughs> now, Kevin, tell us, tell us what Mercedes you think is the is the most user friendly car that you can get in, drive anywhere, drive any day, any time, anything. Well, I mean, I'm biased because I, I own two 126 cars, but they are by far the most reliable cars I've ever owned. Um, my wife um, was at Penn State and I was commuting back and forth and putting- From where? From Washington, D.C. all the time. I was probably putting, you know, 50, 60,000 miles a year on the car. It never, ever let me down. It was the most reliable car I've ever owned. Would you ever think of getting into a W140? No. And um, what 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 specifically, what model of 126 do you own? I have the 1985 300 SD. I have two of them, actually. Uh, they both have almost 400,000 miles on them, and they're fantastic cars. I didn't pay that much for them. I totally went through them. I'm not a mechanic by trade. I'm a computer guy. And uh, with just with basic tools, I was able to do a lot of the stuff myself. I received, of course, a lot of guidance from you, Pierre, along the way. Um, Pierre taught me a lot, and uh, I was able to get those cars roadworthy. He did, he did I, almost all the work on this thing. I, 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 I take it anywhere. I take either of them anywhere. On this, on this. So let me ask you a question. Cumul cumul cumulatively, if you were to sum up all of the time and money you put into those cars to make them right, what kind of dollar value would you give either one of them? Uh, well, I mean, probably less than $10,000 each to get them pristine. That includes the paint work and everything. So. You you spent a lot of time looking for used parts so that you yeah. could do a generation two interior update. Correct, yeah. And um, your previous car was what before you got into Mercedes? I had a, a Subaru WRX, which was a sports car, and, and I also had a Toyota Corolla um, as well. Um, would, would you ever go back? No, I mean the 126 is a very comfortable car. Um, I like to do road trips a lot and it's just, it's, I feel very comfortable driving the car. It's a very safe car, it's quiet. What would you say to people who look at the maintenance requirements of the W126, specifically the valve adjustment, and would say, oh, this is so inconvenient? It's actually very easy to use. There's a lot of job aids out there and um, basically anyone who could just like doing a recipe, like creating uh, baking bread or whatever else, it's, it's just the same thing. I mean, you just look through it and there's a lot of job aids and guidance out there. Anyone can do this. I mean, you don't need any special tools to really do anything on the car. Um, so there you have it. You know, the, the 1985 300 SD because of some other improvements that were made like the 288 to one rear axle and numerous improvements to the vacuum system is just a spectacular car. And um, I guess the final question that I'm going to ask Kevin, would you ever think of switching to a W140? No, I wouldn't. I mean, I've heard a lot of issues with electrical problems. The climate control can be very problematic. Um, stuff breaks. You <laughs> see <laughs> the operator <laughs> 40 hours. <laughs> yeah, there's just a, a lot of issues I've heard with them. Um, with everything on the car. <laughs> 
So there we have it. The the one twenty from a one twenty six owner to three hundred thousand mile cars. Eric, I hope you will consider looking at the one twenty six diesels and. Uh, you know, it may only have 120 horsepower, but every single one of those horses is totally useful on the 85 300ST. So uh, if there are other models you're interested in, uh, please uh, send us your questions. And of course, like I said in the beginning, subscribe to this channel. And of course, enjoy driving your Mercedes Benz, even if it is a W140 and you have to love it. <laughs> you have to love it. <laughs>